Just under 19,000 fans were at Easter Road yesterday. The Hebs supporters hoping their team could end the run of 18 games without an Edinburgh Derby victory. The Hearts fans keen to see that record extended and hoping their side could knock Hibs off the top of the Premier table in the process. The Easter Road club fielded the same team that started the League Cup final and they were first to threaten. Two minutes were on the clock when a slip by Graham Hogg gave Darren Jackson a sight of goal but his long-range effort flew wide. Hibs had a chance to take the lead after 21 minutes but Keith Wright failed to connect with Kevin McAllister's deflected cross. Hearts, without a win in their previous five league matches, bared their teeth in the 29th minute. Scott Leach showing skills that had Hebs mesmerised. But the finish was poor. Gordon Hunter came much closer for Hebs six minutes later. McAllister's cross headed down to the defender, whose drive wasn't far off target. It had been a niggly affair at times, tempers flared again following Michael O'Neill's challenge on John Robertson. But it ended amicably after a few words from referee Don McVicker. Hearts took the lead in the 40th minute, John Cahoon started it, Mo Johnston and Gordon Hunter combined unintentionally and Cahoon finished the move in spectacular style. The Tynecastle side had a chance to make it 2-0 two minutes from the break, but Jim Layton saved well from Jim Weir. So the Hearts fans happy with their first half advantage. A minute after the restart, Mo Johnston tried his luck for Hearts. But the effort was well off target. At the other end, Kevin McAllister tried to create an opening for Hebs. His cross was headed out to Gordon Hunter, but Nicky Walker saved the defender's effort. Hearts were enjoying the better of the play and capitalised in the 56th minute. Weir's effort was knocked on by Johnston, John Cahoon got the break of the ball, Jim Layton failed to hold Robertson's effort, and Cahoon stabbed the ball into the net for his and Hearts' second. Two minutes later, an incident involving Craig Levine and Graham Mitchell sparked off an angry reaction from the Hibs fans. Missiles, including coins, were thrown onto the pitch. The trouble was momentarily quelled, but blew up again a few moments later. Jim Weir struck in the arm and then in the head. The missiles continued as referee McVicker halted the game to talk to the police. Alan McLaren assisted in the clearing up operation on the field and was then spat upon by Hibs fans as he got play underway again. SFA action is inevitable. There was more trouble on the pitch too. John Robertson's two-footed challenge and Willie Miller provoked retaliatory action from the Hibs defender. Referee McVicker in the thick of things again attempted to calm it down while the management awaited his reaction. It was only a yellow card for Miller and Robertson escaped unpunished. Hibbs' Gareth Evans went down in the box with 20 minutes remaining, but the referee decided he dived and no penalty was given. Hart sent on Alan Johnston for John Robertson. Graham Mitchell came close for Hibbs. Walker getting down well to save. And then Alan Johnston forced a save from Jim Layton at the other end. A stormy Edinburgh derby that finished with a 2-0 victory for Hearts.